how to create scrolling videos like this one that you see on screen right now. It's one of the most asked questions on the Facebook group. And I'm going to show you how to create a scrolling video just like this one with completely free software. And also I'm going to show you how to create a graphic like this one that you see right here inside of Canva, which also you can use for free to create either Facebook ads, Pinterest pins, blog graphics, anything that you would want to use a video with a scrolling video, just like this one to get more sales or get more leads for your business. <laughs> Hello, my name is Yatsia from seethetemplates.com and I create Canva stationary templates with commercial license. So that means that you can create your own um, journals and planners to sell in your shop, Amazon KDP, Etsy, um, or any other platform that you choose to sell. So talking about shops, you will probably need a graphic like this one where you can show off either your product or your um, website to potential customers or even use videos in your Etsy shop. And this is my Etsy shop. Let me click on any product. Let me click on this one. And here, the second image is actually a video. So this is a scrolling video that I took from Canva using Loom. Loom is a, let me put it here, is a piece of software that is online and you can use to record your screen. And this is what I use, this is what I'm using right now actually to record this video. So let me go back here. So what I did I was I went into Canva and I scrolled through my product and I used Loom to record this video right here. Now Loom is free. I believe the first 25 videos, they have changed a few things, but I believe is the first 25 videos is free and then you have to pay, but it is super cheap. It's like $10 a month. And I use this for everything. I use it for my courses. I use it from um, products. I use this for this to record YouTube videos. So it is a very, very good um, platform that you can go check out. I don't have like a discount code or anything like that. I'm not uh, affiliated with them. I'm just sharing what I use and what has worked for me. So let's jump into Canva so I can show you how I created this little video right here. So I have actually switched over to Movavi. It is another piece of software that I use to record because I'm going to show you how to use Loom. And so I needed some more, something to record my screen, recording my screen, if that makes sense. So anyway, um, I'm inside of Canva and this is the file that I'm going to use to show you how to do this. So I just picked this one at random. So you, first of all, you need to pick the file that you want. Well, actually, first thing you need to download Loom and just go to, to their website. It's really easy you download it to your um, computer and then after you do that you find the file in Canva or wherever you design to, that you want to use so I'm going to use the regular view this one right here and I don't know if you can see it because this is the very bottom of my screen I'm going to click on the loom icon on my computer and this appears again, you, I'm, I bet you can only see like a little, a little piece right here. But anyway, you would choose whatever you want. In this case, I want to choose screen only. I'm going to choose custom size to select the area. Now I'm pretty sure in the free version, you can't do this. It, it doesn't let you select a specific area, but um, in the paid one, it does. So what I want to do right now is create a selection of the area that I want to record. And that's what I'm doing. I'm using my, um, my cursor, my mouse to select a specific section. And in this case, you notice that this is what I'm selecting right here. I'm keeping a little bit of that purple at the top. I'm keeping all of these elements right here because I sell Canva templates. So in my video, I want to show you 
and show my customers that, hey, I'm inside of Canva. So I want certain elements to show so people who are familiar with Canva already realize that what they're looking at is a Canva software, right? But I want this to be long like this, longer than it is wider. Um, because it is easier to put in a mock-up like uh, like an iPad or something like that. And the, the, this will make sense in a little bit. So the next step would be to click here where it says start recording. And oh, by the way, if you're doing the free Loom, um, you can record your entire screen. I'm going to show you how to crop it inside of Canva. So um, if you are forced to record your entire screen, don't worry, don't worry. I'm, I'm going to show you how to crop a little bit inside of Canva. So the next step that I would do is click start recording and it takes about three seconds. It gives you a countdown three to one. And when it hits one, I then start scrolling from here on the side and I keep scrolling. Um, I do no more than one minute for most, because if you're selling on Etsy, your video cannot be longer than one minute. And I keep scrolling down slowly-ish um, to show most of it. And I'm gonna stop about right here, just for the sake of the video. I'm going to click on the stop. Is I don't know if you saw it's a, like, like a red button. And then on here, I just want to name it something. I use folders. So usually I would, and the way I name things, I would start with what I'm gonna use it for. So I would put Etsy and I would put product um, scroll video or something like that. Then I would just save it to a folder. But what I will do here, now is I'm going to download this video. So I'm going to click here, download. So I can download that 32 second video. Now I'm going to, I don't need, this is the file that I use, I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to close it. Then I'm going to open um, a new file that is 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. And this is just, um, Etsy <laughs> measurements basically. So I'm going to upload that video to Canva and I believe you need the pro version to upload files that are over a certain amount of length. Okay. So now that it's here, let's continue. Let me fix this a little bit. Okay. So it's right here. I'm going to put it there. It is. So you can hear my voice. Let me stop it. I should have done this with no sound. So now the sound is here. My voice is on the video right here. So don't be like me. Go ahead and turn off the microphone before you do that. Anyway, with this selected, go here to the volume. It's here at the top. Click on it and just put it all the way down to zero. And now it should have no sound. There you go. So it shouldn't have any sound when you download it. So now that we have our video, see how it look, how good it looks. That's great. And this is the exact size that I need. So I would go here and grab a frame and we need something, I don't know, like an iPad probably. What is this? No, no, that's, uh, that's not an iPad. Um, this one. Okay. We move it to the side. Then we take this and put it in there in the frame, it fits perfectly. So we click play and we have the video inside an iPad and we achieve something very similar to this right here, awesome. So now that we have it like this, all you need to do is create a mock-up any way that you want to. I'm going to put probably a background and I like doing backgrounds with shapes in Canva. So I would select um, a shape, give it a color. Usually I use this one, which is my brand color, then put it all the way down to 15 ish. Doesn't have to be perfect. Position it backward and I want to lock it in place. So it's there. It can probably be a little bit darker. Let me unlock 
and put it to 20. I always use anywhere from 15 all the way to 30. It just depends how I'm feeling that day. Okay, so now we have a nice background that is locked. We have this mock-up right here. So from here, it just depends on what you want to achieve. If you want some type of text or decoration, this is cute. I haven't seen this before, but it's so cute. <laughs> so we can put, you know, tiny little knickknacks on the corner. I would do something like this. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And thinking I would create a mock-up for, um, an ad or something like this. We're going to add some text. Let me put the text right here. I want to make it black and I want to type something like, look at this. Uh oh, that's misspelled. Okay. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to fix the line height to be a lot smaller. Probably this can be a better color. Probably this. Look at this. Put it here to the side. Ish. Awesome. Let's find an arrow. And let me see. There's some arrows that I use all the time. It would probably be this one like this, but we're going to flip it. Awesome. And we're going to make that arrow the same color. Okay. Um, I need a blur. Is that how you spell blur? Yeah. Um, this one and I need it only because I want to put it behind the text. Can I make it white? Oh, some of them you can't change the color. Never mind. I don't want that blur. I need something that I can change the color. Um, I need something white ish. Okay. So I found a white one. I want to put it behind the text. So backward, there we go. And the reason is I want to make, uh Oh, I want to make the text stand out a little bit. There we go. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And you know, you can do whatever. I'm gonna remove that and I'm going to go back to uploads and add one of these because this is one of my, you know, branding elements. And this could be as simple or as complicated as you want to. Um, this is some of, this is an ad that I created and I put the video in there, but I have another one over here. This is a different ad of me, um, editing a, a template and I use this one for a Facebook ad. So you could do something like this, not just a scrolling video. You can record yourself, um, making some changes to, um, your product, like I'm doing here, writing on your planner, on your journal, things like that. Now, another thing that you can do is you can crop your videos. So and let me show you this one right here. For example, this video, as you can see, it recorded the entire screen. Let's say you were forced to record the entire screen and you just want a small um, chunk of the video, you can actually crop it inside of Canva. I'm still on Canva. I still do the same thing. I uploaded the video. So with the video selected, you're going to click crop and you're going to grab the corners and you can make it, you know, as small or as big as you want it. As you can see, I'm just moving this as I want. So you can select a specific section that you want and voila, that's it. You can make it bigger and now you have the section that you want and that is very very helpful so you can achieve something like this with just selecting a specific area so now you can create videos to show off your product on Etsy on your website or anywhere that you want this is another video that I created very similarly inside of Canva and yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope you go ahead and 
record all the videos you need for your marketing in your business and to be able to create all kinds of things. Pinterest pins, Etsy, Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, whatever you need. If this was helpful, I would appreciate a like and make sure to check out the description below to find all the links and also some free templates as well. So see you on the next one.